Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and I'm here today to give you my review of the second in a series of reviews of the Spectrum lineup of Cine lenses from Seven Artisans. In this case, the Seven Artisan Spectrum 85mm T2. The Spectrum lenses effectively fill the gap of inexpensive yet quality purpose-designed Cine lenses for those on a tighter budget. The Spectrum 85 only costs $459 US dollars. These are available in Sony E, which I'm reviewing, Leica L, Nikon Z or Z, and Canon RF. Cine lenses have different priorities than still lenses, and one of the main ones is uniformity. They are designed to be geared or used with focus follow equipment, and that equipment has to attach to the focus and aperture rings. That means that A, these rings need to have a specific design where the teeth of the gearing equipment will line up with the ridges in the rings, and B, they need to have a uniform diameter and distance between them so that you can switch lenses without having to change all the settings on your equipment. As you can see from this promotional photo, all three of the Spectrum lenses are designed to be precisely swappable. All three lenses are exactly 89.6 millimeters in diameter, though the length of the lenses vary. The Spectrum 85 we are testing here is the longest at 106.8 millimeters in length, also the heaviest at 832 grams. You'll note that the lens is fairly heavy due to having a very high grade of construction where everything is metal and glass. All three lenses have a front filter size of 82 millimeters, which is large but standard. There are plenty of filter options in this size, and Seven Artisans will actually package a number of them with the lens, from circular polarizers to neutral density filters, and then some unique cine filters like a black mist filter or a white soft filter that will change the look of the footage like this. Here's the shot without a filter. Now if we throw in the black mist filter, you can see how that it alters the look of the footage. Also here is the plain shot and then contrasted with the white soft filter. In either case, it gives you options on how to control the look of your footage. There are 10 aperture blades in the iris of the Spectrum 85, which makes for a very circular shape even when the aperture is stopped down. The aperture range is T2 to T16 and is of the de-clicked variety so that you can do aperture racking. Mechanically, the two most important components on a cine lens are the focus ring and the aperture ring. Most cine lenses are manual focus in order to give the cinematography full control over what is in focus and how quickly focus transitions happen. The focus throw here is quite long at 270 degrees of rotation to allow for precision. The focus ring moves pretty much perfectly with great smoothness and damping. Though the aperture ring is a little stiffer than what I would like, not as nice in operation as what I found the Spectrum 50mm. The minimum focus distance of the Spectrum 85 is 79 centimeters, so the resulting magnification level isn't exceptional. There are a variety of locations on the lens where a threaded hole awaits the use of the included screws that you can use in conjunction with a stabilizer. The front lens cap slips over the front assembly of the lens and isn't too deep, fortunately, so it isn't hard to store. There are no electronics in the lens and no weather sealing, but overall I'm quite impressed with the build quality. It is a high quality metal and feels very pro grade, which is surprising considering the price point. The Spectrum 85 has an optical formula with nine elements in eight groups. I found the lens to be very sharp, wide open in the center of the frame, fairly good in the mid frame, and somewhat soft in the corners. The mid frame started to sharpen up nicely by f2.8. The corners, however, didn't get sharp until around f8. Seven Artisans has worked to control distortion and vignette reasonably well here, with some very, very minute pincushion distortion requiring only a minus 3 to correct, and a moderate amount of vignette, plus 58 to correct, or slightly over 2 stops. I found the chromatic aberrations were fairly well controlled, with only minimal fringing showing up in these shots. They are mostly neutral, though I did see a little fringing in this shiny stove front shot. I saw a little bit of veiling and a few wide open shots with the sun right out of the frame, but shooting into the bright sun actually held up fairly well. In general, I felt like my footage looked pretty great. Colors looked nice for the most part, and even better if I shot an S-log and then graded them. The quality of the bokeh was much nicer to my eye than what I saw from the Spectrum 50mm lens, which contributed to even nicer looking footage. This isn't necessarily a top-tier optical performance, but it is certainly good enough to deliver some really gorgeous footage, and the excellent focus ring allows for smooth and precise focus pulls. 
In conclusion, I'm fairly impressed with the 7 Artisan Spectrum 85mm T2 Cine lens. Everything from the packaging to the build quality and even to the image quality suggest a much more expensive lens than what the $459 US dollar price tag suggests. The lens is functionally excellent, and Seven Artisans has done their homework in designing a series of lens that can be quickly swapped by cinematographers. Those that are interested in filmmaking or cinema lenses but have a tight budget will surely find the Spectrum series from Seven Artisans of interest. They are nicely made, nicely performing, and perhaps most importantly, nicely affordable. I'm Dustin Abbott, and if you look in the description down below, you can find link to my text review. There's some buying links and also linkage to follow myself or Craig on social media. You can find ways to become a patron, to purchase channel merchandise, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and let the light in.